write a post about uh, 250 words about your business or something that happened today, that's a short post. Something like this. So I write for Business Times. Business Times in Singapore, maybe get 10,000 people viewing. But on LinkedIn, I get 20,000. So I repost it as a short post with a nice picture of Gordon Gecko. So I'm talking about how lunch is for wimps. Um, put it on LinkedIn, so you get lots of views. I repost I interviews elsewhere on LinkedIn to get more views. I then get the association, for example, when I do interviews on, say, YouTube, I put it on LinkedIn. Or podcasts, I put it on LinkedIn. When I get the best of both worlds there, I'm getting her traction, because Jane interviewed me, so I get her channel, but I also get my channel as well, and the fact to do these interviews. So it's a fantastic way of actually doing that. So Tony Hughes is the master of doing short posts. He basically went from 800 people to 250,000 followers by doing a short post every single day for a year. And the key to Tony is he answers all his posts. Every single one, which is fantastic. He's engaging, but what that does is it makes it go viral. Because every time Tony says this, this appears on every single person's post, every single person's application and profile who liked, shared, and commented. So it pops up, and it pops up, and it keeps on popping up, keeps it relevant. If you don't do this, that's the quickest way to kill a post or kill a viral piece of content. And the great way of doing simple things on posts is do this. I came home from Auckland the other day, as is usual in Changi Airport, as many of you probably know, there were no queues to get in. Uh, and so I did a quick picture, and then on a Friday night, six and a half thousand views, and 41 comments all saying it's the greatest airport in the world, which it is. Something very, very simple, very, very straightforward. So it doesn't have to be rocket science, it doesn't have to be Shakespeare. Something spontaneous in the business context, which is what this is, showing how Singapore is basically the most efficient company in the country in the whole of the world when it comes to airports, is something that resonates with people. But this is actually a fantastic example of what to do when I was in Hong Kong last. I was in Hong Kong last November. And my work was not ready at the uh, Ritz Carlton. So they said you could use the boardroom. So I had some great meetings there, took a picture of the boardroom. And the only CEO with an ACDC t shirt taking a, doing a picture in the boardroom in Hong Kong. I shared it, it got 54,000 views, 35 comments. More importantly, someone shared it with the CEO of the group who owned the Ritz Carlton in Hong Kong. Rico on the left here, all in white. I'm all in black, he's all in white. <laughs> Different guns of those t shirts. Uh, the, point, the point is that. Rico said, that's fantastic, I love what you do with content marketing, it's totally authentic, we want you to manage our LinkedIn. So now we work for the Ritz Carlton in Hong Kong, and the Ritz Carlton in Shanghai, and we work for Rico, and we're about to work for the W in Hong Kong as well. All as a result of that picture. So content marketing actually does deliver bottom line results, actually leads to it, because it's authentic. It's totally, totally authentic in a business context, it's a compliment about the Ritz Carlton. You can do the same thing and you can get access to other people's channels. So Mark McGuinness here is the number one social seller in Australia. So by being associated with him, I get into his channel, he gets into my channel. So it's quick quote quote. I basically do lots of crowdsourcing when it comes to new logos. We did the mobile marketing. We actually outsourced it. So it does two things. It lets people know we have a new company, which is a trip advisor marketing, but it also gets people involved with my followers and connections on LinkedIn. And they're contributing. So it does two things. And they're also, then sharing that with their connections, creating awareness for me, but no money. This is zero-based marketing. And you can now do videos. So videos now appear on the feed. You can do a video now in this building and put it on LinkedIn and it will appear on the feed. You don't need to upload it to YouTube first. You can bypass YouTube and just put it on LinkedIn. So I did an interview with Frederick here, one of the most highly paid speakers in the world when I met him the other day um, for the interview. And then you got 10,000 views, people actually watching the video there and then on the feed. It doesn't even have to be played, it basically gets seen on the feed straight away, so it's phenomenal. And I did a test. I put a video I did, a uh, talk, uh, a couple of years ago, a couple of weeks ago, in Auckland, put it on YouTube, it got on minus three, six views. The same post got a thousand views on LinkedIn. And more importantly, I can tell who liked and 